Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Pisces. So, let's jump into this reading, see what is coming through. I am doing Twin Flame readings now. I do have a course as regards to helping you guys come into union with your Twin Flame. So, you guys can check out all that in the description box below. Alright? So, let's see. Stability. Home. Family life. That is what is on the forefront of your mind for this week. It's either you want to become more stable or you're questioning your stability as it is. I do see a commitment also coming into you. So this could be about a relationship that will make you very happy. Wow. So you're, somebody's about to commit to you. But there is something that needs to cut out. There is something that you're doing over and over again, expecting a different result. You're not getting it. It is time for change. So there is something that you need to cut out, something that you need to get rid of. All right. Even when this commitment comes into play. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So let's jump into the tower now and see what is happening here for you all. So let's see. What is this commitment about? What it is you need to cut out. Something that will make you pretty happy. So I think whatever you have to give up, it is worth giving up. <clears throat> to have home, family, life, stability, love. so you finally given up a resistance you're fine you finally stopped fighting to get something and now that you have stopped trying to force something to happen it is happening for you all right so for some of you you're going to tell me i'm not in communication with this person what are you talking about the energies are changing around you all right so no communication that's okay but this person is coming back into you to give you stability and long-term commitment the timing at this present moment may not be right but it is coming could be a sagittarius some of you are dealing with but this person is definitely coming back around to offer you long-term commitments so let go of the past let go of the pain and bring yourself to that place of readiness to accept this that is coming into you it will bring you a lot of happiness but you have to let go of control let go of any addictions you may have let go of obsessing let's let go of procrastinating that needs to go in order to bring this union into happening could be a capricorn you're dealing with or you can have it in your chart because i do see this person taking action coming towards you and communicating with you very soon all right it is something that you've been hoping for something that you've been wishing for healing in this specific relationship you would know what relationship is this you would know who is this as well could be an aquarius you're dealing with but this person is definitely back on its way his way or her way to you could be a leo for some of you but this person still has a little bit of ego going on just let it go for now let it go let everything happen let the transmission of energies happen and switch up your energy while you're waiting for this person to come back into you yeah, because there was an ending here. 
There was an ending that probably hurt like a bitch. But it was actually a transformation taking place between you and your person. So there were some things that you had to change. There were some things they had to change before this union could happen. Now that you have decided to move on and let go of it, now it can come back around to you. Once you keep holding on to this connection, it will keep holding on and holding back from you. All right. So you might be saying, but I don't have a love offer in mind. I don't know anyone that would want to come back. Stop looking for it. Just allow yourself to cut out any doubts that you may be having. Let it go and let it be. Step into the energy of the King of Pentacles, knowing exactly what you want, knowing that you can bring it into reality. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Speak it truth. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're dealing with. You could have had some type of commitment with this person before. They lied to you, they cheated on you, and they left you out in the cold, it would seem like causing the ending to happen but you've been manifesting this person back you've been manifesting this connection back yeah and it is coming so change the energies around you let go what is not serving you and open yourself up to a new beginning you're not going to just take a leap this person is going to have to prove themselves to you but that is good because you feel okay so there is some limiting beliefs you're trying to manifest this person back but you are the one holding yourself from it happening that is what you need to let go of if you're manifesting something know that it will come into you stop doubting it stop doubting the process because it does want to come into you so you're manifesting. There is no doubt in your mind once you're mani manifesting. The universe has said yes to you and it is coming to you. <laughs> yeah. Could be a Taurus for some of you, but commitment is on its way to you. Long-term commitment. I've been saying that since the beginning of the reading. But there is some healing that you need to go to do. You need to let go of some things. You need to let go of limiting beliefs. And if you're manifesting this, just open yourself up to receiving it. Yeah. Stop being back and forth in your head. Stop saying, no, this is not going to happen. They're not going to come back. Stop doing that. Because this new beginning wants to come into you, but you are the one that's blocking your own way. Stop being so defensive. Accept the truth. Let go of the truth. I mean, let go of the lie, sorry, accept the truth and know what it is you want. Stand your ground and watch it coming to you. This is your time to have everything that you've been wishing for, everything you've been wanting. It is your time for that. All right, so let's see. What is the best advice that I can get for you guys from Spirit? Spirit advice to my Pisces. On what they should do in this situation. Advice to my Pisces. Advice to my Pisces. Alright, so let's see. What is the advice here? Birthing new creation, dreaming a new world into being so you're manifesting the life that you want. Don't doubt it. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So that is what it is you need to figure out. Once you figure out why you're being triggered and deal with it, you will be able to be able to change things about yourself, your energy and the person. Or the connection to the person, sorry. Alright? So, you're creating it. Welcome it in. 